To set up or adjust your gradebook, visit the gradebook in the left column and then choose Grade Setup. You must have at least one grading category, which can be something as simple as everything. Or you can create as many categories as you like. To delete a category, hover to the right of it and choose the X. To save time when you are creating content later, click in the star next to the grading category that you think you will use the most. You can of course easily change grading categories when you're adding items, but this will prevent you from accidentally creating ungraded content because if you don't choose a default category, the default category is ungraded. If you'd like to, you can weight your categories by putting a check in the weight categories box and then entering in your desired values. Final grade settings determine how the final grade for your course is calculated and displayed. By default, it will show two students as a numeric percentage grade, but you can change that to be letter grades or any of the custom scales that you have created. If Schoology is not your gradebook of record, you may choose to hide overall grades and grading periods from student reports. Students will still see all of their individual assignment scores, but they will not see an overall percentage or numeric score. You can create additional grading skills here. And once you've got your gradebook settings just the way you like them, you can use the Copy Settings button to copy your categories, scales, and rubrics to any of your other courses. Make sure to save your changes before you leave this page. Even though I copied in content from another course, none of these assignments are currently showing in my gradebook. That is because I skipped using the advanced options to assign grading periods and categories during my copying process. And I chose to do this because I think it's faster and easier to do it actually after the content is copied in using the bulk edit tool. From the gradebook, use the gear icon and choose bulk edit. This brings up a list of all of your graded items. Each item needs both a grading period, which all of mine have, and a grading category. Otherwise, they won't show up in the gradebook. This is the part I need to fix. I can also adjust scales and enter due dates here if I wish. When done, save your changes. I really wish there was a return to gradebook link here, but there isn't, so I just use the name of my course to get out of this view and then back into my gradebook, where now I see my assignments. There are filters across the top of your gradebook that let you view by grading period, category, and you can sort the order of your gradebook to display items by due date or when you created the content. This tool lets you create an assignment, test or quiz, or discussion right from the gradebook. Just note that the content will not be added to any of your folders if you create it from here, so you will need to drag and drop it from the main materials page into the right location later. Creating a grade column allows you to enter points not associated with a quiz or assignment, but be aware that you currently can't apply due dates for these column items. Right now, I don't have any due dates applied to my gradebook items, so everything is just displaying alphabetically. If a quiz is 100% autograded, the score will just automatically appear here in the gradebook, but a teacher can always change or override any score. Overridden scores will be displayed in orange, and clicking the lock icon will clear the override. When manually entering grades for any non-auto-graded items, you simply just click on the cell and enter the grade. Or you can use the drop down menu at the top of the column to set all grades and fill all cells in that column with the same value. You can, of course, change any of them as needed. If you hover to the lower right corner of a cell, you will see a comment icon appear where you can leave comments. If you want students to see your comments, check the box Display to Student. You can also mark an assignment as excused or incomplete, but note that marking an item incomplete does not equate to a zero in the student's overall grade calculations. Both excused and incomplete designations have no effect on the overall grade calculation for the student. If you select the drop down next to an assignment's name, you can edit the item or view stats related to student performance and even delete the item. Track revisions will let you see how a student's score has changed if multiple submissions were made by that student. Finally, the gear icon allows you to print student grade reports, which generates individual reports for each of the students you select. This report is identical to what a student sees when they choose grades or what you see when you select the bar graph icon by each student's name. 
Also, you can export your gradebook as a CSV file or spreadsheet, or you can create or update existing assignments by importing CSV or Excel files.